Hi, I'm Mary Ann Maloney. We've all been there. You feel compassion for someone in need, but you're not sure how to help. United Way of Southeast Missouri is turning compassion into action, with 32 agencies helping children, families, and seniors right here in our community. You see United Way in action at the Salvation Army, where students are getting the school supplies they need. You see it at Boys and Girls Club after school and summer programs. You see it in people like Dan and Joey. We've been together a little over four years now. Big Dan met little Joey through Big Brothers Big Sisters, a United Way funded partner. We get to match kids with adult role models for them to just experience things outside of the world that they live in. Bowling, swimming, here, fishing. It's fun and it gets me off just playing video games and sitting down doing nothing. There you go, buddy. And Dan is helping Joey with much more than just baiting a hook. He's got somebody that listens, and I think that's what kids don't have so much. Well, he's nice and will listen. It's not about the grandiose things that you do with them. It really is about the everyday things. Just follow my footsteps. Oh, awesome. Follow my footsteps. United Way and Big Brothers Big Sisters work together to help young people be successful. The United Way has been our longest and strongest partner at Big Brothers Big Sisters. From the very beginning, they've been supportive of the work that we've done. Work that Dan and Joey want to see continue. If you've got a heart for young people and you want to help that next generation navigate the craziness that's going on right now, think about getting involved. Getting involved can be as easy as making a small donation from each paycheck. You may not even notice, but your gift will make a huge difference in the lives of individuals and families in need. Feeding the hungry through local food banks, helping the American Red Cross assist those devastated by fire and natural disasters, and building safe, affordable housing for families like Amanda's. Correct. I also have a mortgage, um, but it's going to be something I own. I want to be Working with Habitat for Humanity, Amanda is looking forward to the day she and her daughter can call this home their own. These are my windows. These are my doors. Owning the house. Actually being able to say it's my house. Having the yard for my daughter to run around and play in. Our criteria is not based on the credit score. It's mostly based on how you're trying to turn your life around. Habitat is definitely not a handout. It's a hand up. Deserving prospective homeowners work side by side with volunteers to make their dream a reality. It's not what I've learned, I think it's what I've restored. You know, restored the fact that there are people who care about people in our community and want to help others. But they can't do it without help from the United Way. They help us bring volunteers, they help us bring funds, they help us with anything they can, actually. When you give to the United Way, you're helping others. And who knows, someday you could be the one benefiting. United Way supports agencies that help keep seniors active and independent. Worthy organizations like Hoover Elder Care, Meals on Wheels through the Jackson Senior Center. And those little known but vitally important support groups like Memory Matters. It's desperately needed for individuals with memory loss to stay engaged with one another. Individuals like Larry McCart and his wife of 55 years, Connie. Well, we had a teen town and uh, we danced there <laughs> and we went to high school together. Married at just 16, they built a loving home and raised three children. But a few years ago, Connie noticed a change in Larry. Just forgetting, forgetting that seemed more forgetful than should be. A visit to the Washington University School of Medicine confirmed Connie's suspicions. Larry had Alzheimer's. And I was just kind of in disbelief, I think, a little bit. As the disease progressed, Connie knew she needed help. The fact that I need to help him it's hard for him to accept the help. Connie found what she was looking for in Memory Matters, a support group offered by Lutheran Family and Children's Services, a United Way partner. It's been a really good fit for him, I think. He adds a lot to the group and activities, and I think Connie appreciates the fact that he has such a good time. He's always been such a people person, uh, and he missed that and he was ready. 
Twice a week, Larry and the group exercise their minds and bodies in a much needed social environment. And we're finding the caregivers especially look forward to this respite time. This program is actually such a blessing to us, both of us. Alzheimer's can be a devastating diagnosis, but with faith, friendship, and the help they get from Memory Matters, Connie and Larry are making the best of it. As long as my heart's the place that you go home, I will never walk alone. When we left, he said, I wish I could come here every day. <laughs> and I can never walk alone. For Connie, Larry, and so many others, isn't it nice to know United Way is here? You have compassion. Let United Way of Southeast Missouri turn that compassion into action by improving the health, future, and financial well-being of our community. It takes your support to make this happen. If you've never given, please consider at least a small donation this year. If you gave last year, thank you. And perhaps you can donate a little more this year to help meet the need. Giving is certainly made easier knowing your donation stays right here in Southeast Missouri, improving life for you, your neighbors, and your loved ones. United Way of Southeast Missouri. Well, the times are a change.